Hey Fancy Beauties and Bowls, I'm coming in with another product for our Get It or Forget It series. And today's candidate is Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. I'm not going to go over any specs or anything like that right now. We're just going to apply it. So I did go ahead and prime. I used my Black Radiance and I used my NYX. And um, yeah, let's see what this looks like. I have used it a couple times with another foundation though so we're going to try this as a standalone so it comes out like a mousse and we're just going to go ahead and get in it Alright Fancy Beauties and Bows, I'm coming back in after my work day and we are going to talk about said foundation, okay? And again, this is the Rimmel Stay Matte. So, let's go over some things, okay? It's a liquid mousse foundation and let's see what it claims to do. So it's feather like liquid mousse blends flawlessly for a natural looking all day shine control. Silky smooth formula leaves a perfectly matte baby soft finish, lightweight texture won't feel heavy or greasy. So, I will have to agree with everything it says. It's lightweight, it does not feel like I have foundation on my face, and it actually reminds me of a, a BB cream um, tinted, you know, foundation and so although I'm getting medium to full coverage I like this and it's matte you can see my face now I didn't have a rough day today at work so I didn't have to you know go in and run around and and all of that so what would really be the test and I'm gonna come back and do an update on this is when it gets really really hot outside so when we start facing the 80 85 90 degree weather when i make a trip to you know atlanta and that sort of thing i'm gonna make sure that i wear this foundation and i'm gonna come back and either I, i'll probably put it in the favorites or i will do a um girl don't get it or you know something like that I, it'll be something but I'm gonna give you an update and I want to try to do uh, where it's over more than just this one product where it's you know talking about several products that I would or would not purchase again so look out for that but for right now I'm 
gonna say get it okay because like I said this is my face after my work day and the only oily spots that I see that's kind of peeking through is right here in my uh, on the tip of my nose everywhere else like right in my t-zone I'm good so let's do a uh, transfer test here let's see I had this this morning but we're gonna try it anyway and ah, see if I can find a clean spot but here here's the clean spot so let's use that This is the only transfer that I got, which is pretty darn good, uh, especially for, you know, a foundation like this. So I would definitely get it, and I think it has SP, nope, it does not. But uh, this is Deep Mocha, and I believe this was the deepest color that you can get. It did go on very well, I have to say that. Um, I didn't have to hurry and put the application on or anything like that. So again, I would say go get this foundation and it was under $10 at my local Walmart. So if you were thinking about, you know, getting this or trying this, I would definitely go ahead and do so. As of right now, uh, like I said, you know, my elements were not where I thought it was gonna be today. I will also point out like right in here I get oily in here so I am getting uh, some transfer there okay um, but right now I don't have any I don't have any cons uh, only have um, pros and like I said everything that is promised that it's promising is coming through I'm, I'm getting all of that I told you guys that I, I, per, I wore this before and I paired it with uh, my Maybelline Fit Me uh, Poreless and I've got some uh, makeup videos that's coming up where it's going to feature these two products together and um, I liked it it was I had a uh, I had a flawless beat face okay and it was all of that and a bag of foundations and all of that good stuff honey I had no complaints at the end of my work day and that day I was working my boo-boo off and it was wonderful so you know y'all you, know me I like to mix foundations together just to see what kind of coverage you can you can obtain so yeah but like I said I like that foundation and it's a great product for the price point and that's it that's all I have to say and I will see you fancy beauty symbols in the next video as always this is Gina helping you to keep them coins fancy and to keep that face fancy and I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much and I'll see you soon. <laughs>